How's it going, you bunch of legends? I am Red Nitrate, and welcome to my Red Dead Redemption 2 Legendary Buck and Buck Antler Trinket Guide. So today I am going to show you a full walkthrough on how to track down, kill, and trade in the legendary buck uh, to get the buck antler trinket a very very desirable trinket which uh, has a very good chance of increasing uh, animal pelt quality so say you get a, a one or a two star it has a chance of upgrading that to the next star so for example if you get a one star animal it'll potentially upgrade it to a two star and the same for if you've got a two star it will upgrade it to a three star so in order to find the legendary buck you're going to want to find this little question mark which will only appear when you get close to it um, and it can sort of it, it, its location varies um, which I'll cover in just a second but you can see I'm to the west of Strawberry in the Big Valley region somewhere in this sort of vicinity here that I'm highlighting on the map right now um, there's no guarantee that it will pop up at this exact location uh, as it does sort of uh, vary uh, depending on you know time of day conditions all of that but yeah as I say sort of in this little area here once you find it uh, sort of like once you're in the right area you will get a notification that a legendary animal is nearby and you can start looking for the little question mark. Now I have found it as far back as here before and as far down as sort of over here which is why I sort of say you're going to want to focus on this area of the map. Now I have found the question mark um, then when you come into eagle eye you'll see that it will gr uh, glow yellow like that which indicates that you have found it and it will be the first of a few clues. So inspect the fur. So we've got some buck fur there. Alright, so it's already started tracking it for us. If you uh, come into your eagle eye, you can often get the sort of location of the next clue, which can at least set you off in the right direction. Now I always like to take take this nice and slow because I've had a few situations of when I've gotten closer to a legendary animal that they, they've been spooked and they run away and it makes it a hell of a lot more irritating <laughs> to track them down and kill them. Alright, so we've got some dung, lovely. Bit of dung to improve our day. <laughs> Alright, so, you can see, it's heading us off in this direction. Let's keep following this. So where's the next, can we see? Ah, oh, yeah, next clue is just up ahead. A bit further along. It's pretty far away, so... We can have, we, we can go a little pace. So it is just up ahead. Uh, yep, yeah, just there. Cool, cool. We got that. a bit more done. Jeez, my lucky day. Getting close. All right, so heading off in this direction. Now I believe that will be the last clue um, before we actually get to the animal itself. Now for anyone who doesn't know, who hasn't hunted legendary animals before, you can use pretty much any weaponry that you want. You can shoot it as many times as you want and it won't degrade the pelt quality. That is only for legendary animals though. So you can go hog wild. 
blow its brains out. Tell them red nitrate sent you. <laughs> Alright, so you can see it up there, up ahead. So let's just take it nice and slow. Wait until we can get a nice shot on it. Alright. There we go. No, that hasn't got it. Alright. Two and it's down. So that took, um, that took two headshots from a Springfield rifle with normal ammo, just to give you a bit of an idea of the sort of uh, firepower that you'll need to take it down. But as you can see, this is our, this is our legendary buck gun away so that doesn't obscure the view and it's not like it's a great view but some people might want to might want to check it out all right so once you've done that um, you can skin it which will harvest all of its parts Tree's getting in our way a little bit here. And it's a bit graphic, isn't it? Jeez, man. Uh, I guess it's necessary. <laughs> a bit gruesome, though. Alright. So, come into our satchel here. We can have a look. So, we got some four mature venison meat, the legendary buck antler, and I think that's about it. But yeah, it's the legendary buck antler that you need to craft the trinket. So, get your horse over, and I can show you the next part of the guide. Come here, horsey. Now, what you're going to want to do as well, especially if you're early in the game, is you're also going to want to collect the carcass um, because the carcass will actually sell for pretty good money um, so it's definitely definitely worth grabbing you can sell that at the trapper if you need a little extra skrilla in your life who doesn't need a little extra skriller in their life? I know I sure do. Alright, so we have got our booty. Yeah. Booty of animal parts. So, the next thing you are going to want to do is head over to your nearest fence. So, in that situ in my particular situation, I believe that will be in Emerald Ranch. So, it's a bit of a trek to get over there, but um, when we cut back, we'll be at the location of the fence, and I can show you the next part of the guide. Stay tuned. Alright, so we are just rolling up at the fence in Emerald Ranch at the moment to trade in our buck antler to get the buck antler trinket. So speak to Seamus or whoever is manning the fence where you're at and select craft. And then you will see that you have the buck antler trinket available to craft. So it'll cost you $22, so you want to purchase that. There we go. We have the buck antler trinket. Now, I will just uh, come into the menu here, and we can have a quick little looky-loo. Um, so, where is it? There we go. Buck Antler Trinket. Player receives higher quality skinned animal parts. Crafted from rare legendary animal parts. Alright, so, that's how you get the trinket. 
go out and try it for yourself. It doesn't work 100% of the time, as I say. It just increases your chance of uh, getting a better animal pelt. Um, also make sure that you do go off and sell the legendary buck carcass and the legendary buck animal pelt to the trapper for the money and various uh, clothing unlocks that you get uh, from the trapper with those items. But look, I hope that you did find my guide useful. I think that everyone out there will find that it greatly, greatly helps their hunting abilities and their, uh, you know, the, the quality of the pelts that they are getting from skinning animals. Uh, it's been an absolute massive help to me throughout my playthroughs. Um, so yeah, I just thought it'd be a good idea to do the guide. If you found it useful, please hit the like button down below. And if you want to see more content like this, please also consider subscribing. All of those things really do help out the channel a lot. And yeah, I will catch you all on the next instalment of Red Dead Redemption 2. I am Red Nitrate. Stay legendary, everyone. Bye now.